dude. That's a big fish, whatever it is. Oh, dude, give me some. <laughs> what a fun bite this is. You know when you're ready for intro time, don't cover up your mic either. <laughs> oh, we're doing intro right now? That's been done before, yeah. We're so optimistic, Ryan. We're filming the intro right now. Morning. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll go. What is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It's me, Tom Boley, your host that's hosted every one of these videos. I don't even know why I said that, really. Is it because I'm a guest today? They guest know. Angler? And my guest angler, good friend Ryan. You might see Ryan in a lot of Green Bay Wally fishing videos because that's where he lives, but he made the trek a couple hours to fish a river system with me today. Couple, it was four. What's that? It's four hours. Four hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, wanted to bring a little bit more river fishing content and maybe show you guys a couple different bites. I think we filmed down here. I filmed down here maybe a week or so, a week and a half ago. And uh, yeah, wanted to bring some more fall river fishing content. I absolutely love fishing these rivers. You know, you go to lakes and one's maybe kind of similar to the other. You go to river systems and it's like, this one's like this. This one's clear and deep. This one's really dirty and shallow. This one has a lot of current. This one doesn't have a lot of current. A lot of different variables. So wanted to come down to a river system today, shoot some river fishing content. We got the sounds of the river going on, trains going by, shotguns okay. blasting back in the swamp. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna hopefully catch a few walleyes today, huh? Uh, I think we will. Ryan thinks we will. Um, I'm optimistic as well. I think we will. But uh, will it be enough for a great video? I don't know. We'll see. You guys be the judge of that. So let's sit down. Let's get it going on. Blast off to the first spot. Start pitching some baits. Catch some fish. What do you think? Sounds like a great, great day. Boom. Let's get it. We have arrived. We have arrived at spot number one. We followed the train down river, so it's still really noisy. <laughs> and we're gonna fish a little current seam here, aren't we, Ryan? Yeah. Yep. And a couple baits. A lot of times when you're dealing with really low water levels, and you're trying to find current seams, you're generally looking at spots that are there's some kind of shallow water obstacle. And this spot's no exception, because without a lot of current, a lot of times you would need like a really big neck down to create some kind of current seam or current flow or something like that. Um, or if you don't have that, a lot of times you're looking at a really kind of sizable shallow piece of structure near the main flow that kind of creates that edge, if you know what I'm saying. So. We're gonna start pitching on one of these here. It's kind of like a little hard bottom top, gravel two, three feet of water, then it kind of dumps out into eight, nine feet of water. So stay tuned. Ryan's gonna go live bait, aren't you? Oh yeah. Ryan's going live bait. I might run through just a grab bag of different presentations and we'll see what happens today. So stay tuned. It's a beautiful day. It's like 38 degrees out, 40 degrees out right now, but it's gonna warm up to like summer today. Fish out. Nice. Right there. Feeling like a nice walleye. Feeling like it's probably gonna be a nice fish. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice river walleye right there. Want a net? Sure, we'll scoop them up, I guess, right? Sure, scoop Might as well. Oh! <laughs> walleye in the boat. There we go. Good fish, huh? Not a super big one. Should get bigger today. I mean, gosh, I sure hope so, you know. We Definitely. are trending. What's we're, that? We're trending the right direction. Yep, you can't start with really big ones. If, you know, if you're just gonna work your way there. So I guess we'll start with some of these 15, 16, 17. Nice little 17 inch wall there. Sun angle's probably absolutely terrible for you guys. <laughs> and uh, just kind of thoroughly working a few wing dams. Ryan, how many boats were upriver? Uh, a pile. And why aren't we in fishing the there? community spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could, but we would have had to bring ice rods. I had to bring ice rods. They were close combat. <laughs> and to be honest with you guys, I think I said this in a, a different river video I made, but um, the, generally what you have happen in the fall, is fish go through the same progression on every body of water. Springtime, 
they're normally like towards the shoreline area. In a river system, they're generally in an upriver location. They generally spread out through the system as the year goes on. Then in the fall, a lot of times in rivers, you have these big bait fish migrations where all of those bait and fish are migrating back upriver. So a lot of your dam locations, your bridge locations, your big neck down locations are absolutely loaded with fish this time of year. But it's no secret, is it? Nope. So they're also loaded with boats. On. Is it a walleye? It'd be a wild one if it was. Could be. I mean, it's like two feet deep up on top there. It's sure looking like one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy how shallow they'll sit, you know? Yeah. The fish was like on the surface. Immediately. <laughs> in half a second, dude. I think it's might be a nice fish, Tom. I think it's going to be a nice walleye. Oh. oh yeah, real nice walleye, Ryan. Real nice walleye. Oh. Oh. Gosh, they fight so hard in the river, don't they? They do. Oh, Here we I go. I should have netted them right there. Huh? <laughs> nice. There we go. Give me some. They here. are still around, dude. Yep. They're not on that community of the ground. Some. I'll pound it. I'll pound it. <laughs> there we go. Show them up here. Well, it hasn't been guys. you know, a crazy start, but it's like all of a sudden you get in a little patch of fish and you catch a few. I think probably just in the last several casts now we've caught a couple walleyes, smallmouth, and now another nice walleye. Yeah. Another, white, another, nice another guy running up to guys. the dam. Nice Take them like fish. that, huh? All day long. Let me Roughly 20, 21 inches. Let me snap a thumbnail of you too, Ryan. Nice little thumbnail pick. Back, Back she goes. She goes. Oh, there we go. Right there. It's kind of like... When they decide to bite, they do away. smash it, don't they? Yeah. And we were kind of casting right on the <clears throat> tippy top of this thing. And this little walleye. We are kind of casting right at just the tippy top of the crown of this thing. And I just kind of made a cast right down the face and let it kind of swing back into it. Kind of, because most of the time these wing dams obviously are points or like whatever kind of structure you're fishing like this in the river, especially wing dam. They'll come up on the lead current edge, they'll come way high and they'll kind of tail off on the back. Most of those, a lot of those fish like sitting on the crown, but this one kind of came right in that face as it started coming up right out in there. And maybe uh, we can even pull the camera up and you guys will kind of be able to see how this kind of thing affects the flow here. Yeah, how your bait swings. Yeah. You're really go. not moving the bait a whole lot when you're stroking your jig. You're just... A lot of time just letting the current do the work. Let the current do the work and let your your the current take your bait to the walleye, I guess, right, Ryan? Pretty much. But pretty much how you describe it. We Eventually go. it's gonna swing in front of one. Yeah. <laughs> and fish is gonna go, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> Got one? Yep. That feels like a nice one. Ryan's on. I literally oh. Oh. was just about to Folks. restart the camera. This has got some little walleye. I oh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the net it's, for you. It's doing walleye things. Doing walleye things. <laughs> I like that. I like nice that fish. a lot. Oh, yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh, there we go. Right in the Putting it together, aren't we? The nose, man. <laughs> Putting it together. <laughs> feels good. It's a good morning. You know, we fished yesterday, and it just seemed like fish were really negative yesterday, didn't it, Ryan? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it was just kind of like, ooh, ooh, you know. Like, you're always trying to buy a bite or find where the fish are. And a lot of times when we come and do a bite like that, you know, sometimes we can get it all done in a day. Yeah, nice, healthy fish. Beautiful fish. Let me get a little release shot just for the folks back home, you know. Yeah. How important is catch and release, Ryan? That's why we can keep going fishing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> it's pretty much that simple. Is he going to play nice for you? I hope so. Is he going to be a nice little actor for us? Oh, look at that. That's a saucy one. Look at that. Look at this beautiful day in the river, catching walleyes. How are you going to beat it? It's been fun so far, but what was I even saying? I was saying, um, oh, a lot of times we come to a place, you know, show up to a destination. A lot of times we can get the video done, like, in just a day, but... Um, sometimes on these tougher bites, we kind of 
treat it more as like a pre-fish scout day. So we'd fished a bunch of different areas yesterday, kind of ran through spots a little quicker than today. Kind of comes to the day where you're like, all right, let's put a little bit more time in spots that look good from yesterday and that kind of thing. So it's good to see it kind of paying off a little bit this morning. Fish on, Ryan. Nice. What do you got there? Is it a walleye? I like to double up here. If it was, is it a walleye? If it is, I finally got one not on a live bait, Ryan. Woo! Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. Grab the net for you. On the old hair, son. Finally, huh? Nice. As wow. you guys can see by my plethora of rods in the back of the boat here. The hair trick is gone, dude. Yeah, he ate that, huh? <laughs> Got a couple on it yesterday. But uh, I was trying to mix up baits, you know, like I said, it seems like the jig in the middle is just what they want, but look at this. You wanted that, huh? Quarter ounce white and purple hair jig. Nice walleye right there. Yeah, it nice. will eat something other than a jig in the middle. The jig in the middle certainly is the confidence presentation. There we go. We were just saying, like, I can't believe we haven't caught a fish here. <laughs> and it uh, seems like we're almost catching more sliding into it, aren't we? Yeah, they don't seem to be on the ends as much as we thought they could be. But Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you guys can kind of see how we how we like to set up on these a lot of times. Let me get all in your way here, Ryan, for a second. It's all good. Wherever my camera's even at. But the live a lot of times, great for positioning. Great tool for boat positioning. And you guys can see, like, Here's obviously the top of this and the rocks up on top. And then here's obviously, we're sitting out here off the edge. So you can kind of just say, okay, I want to be 30 feet from that edge. You look at your, your, you know, your kind of range right there, 30 feet. All right, 30 feet's where the top of that starts. And then we're just moving up and down and positioning the boat off that and making those little pitch casts at it and catching a bunch of walleyes along the way. What's that? Here comes a snag. <laughs> Just calling your shot. <laughs> Dude, that's a big fish, whatever it is. <laughs> you see how far? That was my first jig, dude. Like what? I can't believe that, dude. If this is a walleye, it's a toad, man. Just joking about going shallow and Tom's just I just throw launches. a cast so far and generally when you throw a cast that far in the current when rocks you get so snagged, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I chucked it out there as, well, as far as I could. It just had the most ferocious bite I've had all day. And this feels, I mean, this is a walleye. It's big, dude. This would be the one. If it's a sheep's head, it could be average. But my guess is it's probably going to be a big walleye, dude. Yeah, it's, it's almost like not doing much, though. Unless it's like... It got plane. sideways with how hard it hit, but I honestly think we're gonna see a really big wall out right here. We're gonna see a really quick net job. Oh yes. Oh big big wall eye. It guys. is a nice wall eye. Yeah. Oh, on that hair jig. It feels like it's fighting really weird, dude. Is it in the mouth? It's gotta be. It is. Oh my gosh, it is really big, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh dude, give me some. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. I'll do it again. <laughs> that was just a hilarious fish catch, wasn't it? <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> and I threw it about a mile across the river, dude. <laughs> Top it like, once. Should we move shallow? One more cast. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this stud, dude. I mean, that is a stud fall walleye right there. On that quarter ounce hair jig. And man, did he light that thing up. That is definitely a little better caliber of fish there, all right? Yeah, that is the size class that we want. To catch yeah, if we can get a couple of those today, I mean, fall river fishing. How's it get better than that right there? Big <laughs> stud walleyes, snapping baits around. Some on the jigs and minnows. Getting a couple on that hair jig today. What a fun bite this is on a beautiful fall day. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that beast, dude. That is what we're after. Man, do they fight hard, and they are just built unbelievably well out here in these river systems. Let's let them go. Yeah. All right, take a quick thumbnail picture. Keep upgrading our thumbnail picture today, right? Don't we? Let's let this guy go. Oh man, is that ever? Oh, right there. And he's angry. Just a handful. Give me some, dude. That's sick. That's nice. Let's do it again. I think those might be rocks. <laughs> Not moving. Well, that one definitely is.
Wow, dude. Right on top, like right on top. Good nice call. One. Good call on doing that, Ryan. Ryan just said he's like, should we just get right on top of it? We did. We're sitting in like just I mean, that fish came out of two, three feet of water. Another nice hair jig wallet. Maybe that's the deal, Ryan. Maybe they're just maybe we want something, try something different. <laughs> maybe they want something a little snappy now, huh? Yeah. That little quarter ounce hair jig. We got more where that came from, I believe. And it's weird. Now that I built the ultimate fishing garage, that I gotta like select my tackle that I bring each day. I feel like it's really easy to like forget everything at home. <laughs> but there we go, another perfect fish. You guys can see, I they swear I had two bites on that cast. One kind of like missed it. Could have been the same fish or whatever, but there we go, another beautiful chunky walleye on that little guy right there. You want one, Ryan? Yeah, I think, well. You can always just I might, tie one up on another rod. I might put a jerk minnow on. Ooh, I like that call too. Right there, Ryan. Can't find the call on there. <laughs> you know, I've been on this river a bunch of times and I always fish this spot. And I feel like it's one of those spots where you could tell like your timing's just off. Like it's always like, how am I not catching fish here? And I think, oh, that's a nice fish, nice porker too. Finally done it. <laughs> and it just goes to show you how often, you know, little spots in these rivers are so much timing based, you know? Yep. I think it's just, I mean, you could probably, we fished a lot of spots today, but I think it's a lot of times you could circle back through them and the ones you maybe caught fish on before wouldn't have fish. Maybe the ones you didn't catch fish on before would have some fish on. A lot of it's just kind of lining up timing when fish pull up into a, onto kind of one of these sweet spots and then you end up doing really good. But normally good spots are good spots. And in this low of a flow, you gotta have current. There's a lot of spots that just don't have current right now. So finding spots, that do have current or are getting hit by some decent current generally points you in the right direction to, to uh, some walleyes this time of year. There we go. Let's let them go. See you later, buddy. Whoa. Jeez, Greg's really loose. Just let that last fish go. There's obviously a bunch up in there, Ryan. Right? Straight back. Yeah. They are shallow. Man, are they absolutely crushed. This could be a really nice fish. We'll see. This could be a really nice one. Oh, it's both the same. I'll got him, Ryan. He just, okay. <laughs> he's just got it right in the corner of his mouth. And man, what a fun day this has turned into. <laughs> I feel like you were whooping my butt on the jig and minnow. Yeah, I was doing some damage earlier. <laughs> and now I got the hair jig magic going. <laughs> I followed suit. I do have hair jig on now. <laughs> now Ryan's got the old hair jig on. And... Oh, come here. And one thing with artificials, it seems like sometimes when the fish maybe don't want to bite as much, going to something that you can snap around a lot like this gets them to bite when maybe they won't eat a slow floating jig in a minute. And it almost kind of seemed like as the day's gone on, they need that little snap. To the, to the step. And that was literally the next cast right after I caught that last walleye. Back to back, getting it done, feels good, feels good. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for today's video. We're wrapping it up down here in the river. The last 20 minutes, it warmed up about 20 degrees, I feel like, didn't it? Yeah, it is hot, no wind, and I think the fishing is shut off for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems like it's just kind of like that blah point in the afternoon right now. But caught a bunch of river fish down here today. Ryan, was it fun? It was a lot of fun. It was a blast. And it's cool It's cool fishing to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's different than what I'm doing back yeah. home. <laughs> it's different than what you can do a lot of places. I don't have wing dams to fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is river river fishing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the fact we tried to get away from the masses and just, if you go to where a lot of these dam locations and all these upriver locations, it's a lot of vertical fishing, a lot of people on top of people, a lot of snap and blade baits, hyper rattles, jigging wraps, jigging minnows, all just kind of working like dam areas. It's just really a, a fairly simple style of fishing. But anytime you can come out and just have miles of river to yourself and catch a bunch of walleyes, it's a good day in my book. Yeah. 
can't beat it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Filming an awesome piece for the Walleye Now app, kind of showing the whole hair jig thing. Wait, um, wait till you want to fish a different current, cadence, rigging stuff, because the hair jig is a great way to catch fish when you have cool water on these river systems. Very natural, floaty, wispy deal um, that obviously catches a bunch of fish. So that and the jig and minnow pretty much thumped all of our fish today. So hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one. Couldn't even tell you where I'm going to go next because I don't even have an idea. I'll have to pull open the map, look around, and see what see what I feel like doing. So we only have probably a couple weeks left of season and then we're hopefully going to be on the ice not long after that. So appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.